and welcome to my space. My name is Clint Michaels and today I'm going to give you a real quick tutorial on how I do my um, pretty everyday straightener curls. Um, I do have a little short bob and the reason it is so short, if you've ever seen my Instagram, you've seen earlier pictures where it's a little longer. It's not there anymore. Anyway, I had a situation um, last year about this time, uh, March, I guess this time could be not when you're watching. Anyway, about this time, this March of 2019, I uh, had my hair frizz up pretty bad and we had to go pretty short. So we did, um, well, I'll just... I'll just do that so that you can see what it looked like basically. But it's pretty short. We're still growing it out. Um, it has been a year, but we're in a pretty basic bob finally with almost all the same length. We do have some stragglers, but my everyday look is a straightener curl. It's what I use to wear to work. It's what I wear professionally. Um, sometimes it is straight, but most often you'll see it on my Instagrams and everything curled. So I just wanted to give a real quick, easy probably under five minute tutorial on how I do that because sometimes people wonder um, and I'm just have that knowledge. So I just go ahead and give you a quick, a quick video about how I do that. A um, couple things, I do not curl every piece with short hair like this. Like with long hair, it's totally different and all blends, it works fine. But with short hair like this, it turns into like a big poof ball. And I feel like a lot of people end up that way and don't understand why it's that way. I don't curl every piece. I curl the top framing pieces. And I'll explain that a little bit here in a bit. Um, but it is dirty. Um, not dirty, dirty. Like, I washed it yesterday. But this is old hair. I'm, I always wear straight hair the day after I wash it. It just works better. It doesn't curl the same, it doesn't last. Like usually I can curl it and wear it about two days before I either have to recurl it or shower. But I don't wash my hair that often, about one to two times a week. Um, it's best for your hair. Let me get into a quick uh, straightener. I am using just a basic hot tool straightener. It's one that I got in school. It's not the one I use professionally and I'm gonna have it, I'm having about 300 degrees. Um, one of my favorite sayings is if it's too hot to cook your food, it's too hot to curl your hair. Your hair doesn't need 450 degrees. Stop it. People, stop. But anyway, I just take a piece and I honestly do not section it out or anything. And I actually, I know a lot of people who try upright straighteners. Not a fan. I do it easy for my hand. I clasp. Honestly, about an inch, I'm not gonna hold that there the whole time, but I'll probably do about an inch away from my scalp and I will start rotating out and pull. It'll move on its own. Voila. Do you see that? That is such an intense curl. And that was on 300 degrees, okay? It's not singeing my hair, okay? I don't see no frizzle. Anyway, so some people, next step, next step. Okay, next, often people take the next piece right away. I actually go a little bit further out. Oh my God. And like I said, it doesn't matter how big a piece. Sometimes I do small pieces. Sometimes I do big pieces. There's a piece there. Anyway, twist, I'll pull this out, and you just slide it along, and don't clamp too hard, otherwise you'll be ripping. Slightly release, and move down your hair strand, and then I re-roll and release. And guys, girls, ladies, gents, my peeps. straightener curl I just want you to be able to do it because it is so cute I love how it looks on everybody okay same diff taking a piece 
if you have complicated hair that doesn't like the back of my hair doesn't curl as well I will heat up my hair strand one two three times max and then I do my roll guys and gals this is how it works so to cut in to cut in this piece I did here recently has a squared off corner sometimes if you don't curl all the way down take the end of your straightener and pull it downward okay like sorry I'm staring this way my camera thing is up here but anyway pull those straightener pieces down you won't have like a so much of a, a flip per se you'll still have curl but it won't you saw all right moving to the other side this is how many I curl okay it was prop all right moving back into it uh I'm gonna move to the other side I do have my part further over so there's probably going to be a few more pieces on this side curl than the other side but I will continue through and show you how it all turns out all right now to jump back in I want to show you um my end results here so like I said not every piece is curled I don't curl every piece <sighs> I just don't want an afro like I just am not feeling Shirley Temple moods today I mean if I am it happens but the average look doesn't include that now, um, I usually wait about five to 10 minutes for the curls to cool. Like if you press on them and they feel hot, they're not cool yet. Um, and often, and then this is gonna surprise a bunch of people, but I don't often wear hairspray. I let it cool enough that I just wear a relaxed look throughout the day. Um, if you need hairspray, you have heavy hair or you have a lot of hair or you did a lot of curls, use hairspray. Like, I'm not saying it's not good for you. I'm not saying like, don't use it. I'm just saying for most often for my looks, I don't. But I'm just lucky, I guess. So I'm gonna wait for the curls to cool. It's probably been enough time. It doesn't have to do very long to show you what we do right here. It's so easy. This scares a lot of people too, to do this, but Tell me that doesn't look just darling. Finger combing curls is the best invention ever. Whoa, buddy. All right, so that's my finished look. Um. I just take pieces at the end, like this piece, not real filling him, uncurled, so he gonna get curled, which let me just pop in and okay, anyway, this, uh, this is the look, but it's super simple. Anybody can do it. I mean, it took me 18 minutes to have a super cute, curled, professional look. Like 17 minutes and I have been talking. So, how to have a pretty easy look for a bob in under 20 minutes. I hope you liked it. I hope you love it. I hope you love the finished look. Uh, if you have any other questions, please leave a comment down below with your questions. I'd love to answer them. I'd love to start to get to know people who are watching my videos. I really do appreciate each and every one of you who has comment, liked, subscribed. I, I'm so thrilled. I cannot wait for this little, little party to grow. We're gonna have a party. All right, thank you so much for watching.